Hydration is a basic bodily requirement that all human beings need. A lot of our patients come into hospital um, dehydrated and poorly hydrated and this can really affect their length of stay and how unwell they are. Uh, dehydration affects how the bodily uh, function works, including causing problems such as kidney failure, constipation. It can make the duration of illnesses last longer and predispose them more to getting uh, chest infections and other types of infections. So it's key for us to really hydrate our patients. So Droplets was really exciting to be a part of. It was really interesting. I thought it's definitely a great initiative to have in the hospital. The staff enjoyed using it. The patients had very good feedback on it. So what we did find here with the droplet is that patients' fluid intake did increase. The key benefit would obviously to keep our patients hydrated and make the recovery a lot quicker. And even if they use, you know, if we can use them at home, encourage them to be used at home, patients not having to come in hospital. The reminder base has been a great success. Patient recovery is a partnership between patient and staff and the flashing and the verbal reminder certainly help people understand the needs of hydration. The focus on nutrition and hydration for the Trust is incredibly important, but I would say that 90% of the time we focus on nutrition, and the droplet has helped change that culture and behaviour to use a mug and a tumbler that is practical, it's colour friendly, it's dishwasher proof which is essential, particularly on an infection control point of view, it's helped everybody realise that the partnership between patient and staff needs to be effective if the recovery is as quick as possible. Facilities managers and, and operational leads for catering have a real important decision to make and that is how can we drive decision making and what do we purchase? And when you see a product like this that can make such a difference, then it's up to us to drive a positive decision. What we need to do is have a national perspective. And when you see something that can make such a difference, we need to stop being regionally biased and actually make decisions quickly, putting the patient first, knowing that it will make a difference. <laughs>